Alright, welcome back to Eldridge Farm. This is episode 31. Um, bit slow in getting videos out this week, so it's going to be a whole load of these Eldridge now. Um, in fairly quick succession to get the planting done. Right, we're on field 5 here, and we're just about to just hop out of them. We're just about to start mucking this field. Then prior to par harrow and the muck in, then seed and that will be today's task. We're also starting on uh, field seven and four to prepare for wheat. But we get him underway. Okay, I think I've got the, I better just check this is the right, yep that's the right one, I wasn't certain if I'd left any of the old field fires in, we might hit a few things on this because I haven't really played with the uh, fields yet, alright let's go on, put him out of the way and go and have a look at the JCB, He's ready to get started. I haven't tried this particular par harrow on course play yet, so I'm hoping it works. I have to put the JCB on this because it takes quite a bit of par, this particular cultivator. And it really wants to clean, it's only been used on one field so far. Oh yeah, that's a way. So we'll leave him to get on with that. And see what else we need doing. Uh, we'll have a quick look round the... Uh, didn't want that, that one. Hit the right button in a minute, that's the one I wanted. Let's see what else is going on. Right. There's still no rain in the offing. See what the animals are like. Uh, sheep could do soon want some more uh, grass, but he ain't gonna get that for a day or two. <coughs> the cows are not too badly off, so we might probably leave them alone at the moment. Uh, Fatten units. I think I might just get a star and just run around with a small water tank to see if we can get some water and all those. You may notice we're quite a bit uh lack of oh, lost quite a bit of funds. That's that's because I just had to pay the uh, garage for the service on the class and uh, re replacing most of the uh, innards and. Uh, Service JCB and on the uh, case. Let's just see how the case is doing first. Got a feeling I'm going to have to fill this up before we're finished, but I'm having to do that manually. I haven't got round to doing a refill course yet. I might just run that. Might just run that. I've got a drink here. I'm just, I might just run that once we. Once we empty this one off, I'll just wait and see. I brought the uh, elevator in rather than use the JCB, it's slightly quicker. Oh, is he going to get caught there? Yes, he is. Oh, and he's. Mm, he's going to run out of. So I'm going to have to redo this course a bit, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo this course, so we're hopping. Oh, better just take the... Uh, set that off. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to remake that. That tree's in the way there. So we're... 
just do a quick refill course. I'm towards the exit. Alright. Got that, so we just cancel that out, start recording. Don't hit anything. I think this uh, muck spreader could also do as a slightly bigger tractor, but uh, this is only just man enough. Shouldn't need a weight point, so we're going to try without our low end. Yeah, that needs moving back. But we're. So I'm going to have to manually feed this. I'm going to cancel this course. There's the one problem with using that elevator on these. Is that the uh, dang thing? Uh, Oh, the tri oh, the trigger area on that uh, particular muck uh, heap is uh, disappears as you move further around or further into it. So realistic, I know, but uh, it's a pine. Now let's see if we can find out how far we got. I think we we're over. Ah, uh, oh, we were here. Now it's just. So that's five, let's find it, five, ten metre, that's the one, let's see if we can find where we should be, follow this through, let's hop out so we can see where it is. Come in there. Oh, we should be going up here. Yeah, I think we'll have to do two headlands. Remake this course with two headlands. That should be okay. Yep, that's a way again. Now, can he make this turn here? Once he's mucked these two, I'm going to get the uh, JCB over here with the par harrow and let him finish the other field off later. There's no immediate hurry for this one. But I'm going to get this out and just move that. Um, elevate us in a bit. Ooh. Let's just watch where we're going. Yes, the uh, drought is getting worse and worse. I've heard back from DEFRA, which is the Department of Farming and Agriculture. No, I cannot. Uh, water my uh, organic fields as they're, they're not actually big enough. So, uh, I shall have to do my best with muck on top. This will be at least this will get rid of some of all the muck we've got. No uh, asset. Just 
bring him out a bit and just straighten him up. Big problem with having this thing up and run it. Can go out of control at a moment's notice. We're in again. We see if that will hold. Let's move us out of the way over here. We'll leave him up here. Forget about the other things. Right. Now, there. Where's the way out? Let's get back in there. Cab, we'll find a way out. There's, um, the pub. There is only one topic conversation, and that is Ryan or rather lack of it. We're now coming in, we're starting the fourth year without any serious Ryan. And no matter how you look at it, that is not good. So we're. We are keeping our fingers crossed that we get some Ryan this, this winter. Or at least we can keep enough moisture into the ground to actually be able to grow stuff. Alright, let's just bring this up. Um, so we want field 6. Two headlands this time. Just to see if he's got him enough room to turn around. Yes, as you saw, I finally got rid of the Marshall muck spreader. Very nice muck spreader, but it's not quite big enough for the area we have to muck now. It's coming on this farm track. Come on to here. Six. Um, I think we need to start at the far side, which will be. Let's try it on south west again, going north. Let's see what it looks like. Because we've got trees in the way. Uh, I can't find the uh, start point, so we'll cut that down. Ah, there. Get back inside, we'll just swing around to bring on to the start point. Drop back and have a look round. I think I'll let him finish off and put that muck in. I'm hoping he's going to be alright there. That's what's he. You see, where we're ploughed in, we're, we've got a bit more muck in. Oh, no, uh, no. Nutrient in there now. I wish I could talk. As, as I was saying earlier, it's been a funny week this week. Um, had a funeral, doctor's appointment, so wedding anniversary tomorrow, which will be, which will be Thursday. So I'm not going to be doing any recording then. I managed to sneak in time to get one done today, Wednesday.
and Friday we're going out all day I might bug it one done when we get home, possibly two I can't see the first one going up much before Friday onto the site onto YouTube which I apologise for but it's one of those weeks problem with this is it won't run quick enough. Hasn't got the power to run this quick enough. You know, I'm getting close to the point of thinking I may have to invest in a new bigger tractor and pension the case off. Let's have a quick look at the shop, see what they've got. Can't afford anything this year, but Yes, on the mod. That's rather nice. Uh, enough par. But I need so I can use both ends. Off style would be nice, and it nice second hand one here, cheap. Two hundred sixty nine brake horse. I may have a look at that. That looks as if that's the favourite for what we've got here. That's the one we're using. It's a modified steer and like picture doesn't look the same because it's the only picture I could find to put on. So I modified the steering on that one myself. Two six three. Mm, this is the one what BP's got, I think. I don't want to keep uh, copying everything, so I might have a go at this, get another style. Anyway, let's see how we're doing. Oh, this is doing quite a nice job. Yes, yeah, so I think I can probably run without uh, plowing if I use this particular cultivator. Let's see what fields we've got. We want to get five and six planted with this early soy, which is organic contract grown. Then we've got light soy going in the field one that won't go in until near the end of the planting. Uh, field seven, four, uh, what's 12 North home field are all going to be wheat. So I think we're going to be doing a lot of uh, planting over the next couple of three days. Then I've got 11 North and South are going to be maize for silage, but I'm not going to put that in until midsummer. I may even put another cover crop in before I even get round to that. And because the home field's got to be ploughed, it's the only one I've got to plough. Uh, field 12 west is taken beat. And field 10's going to have a bit of rape in it. Beet will be going in late as well. The wheat, uh, the beet and the uh, Second lot of soy will be going in near the end. I'm trying to spread them out a bit so that not all ready at the same time. Let's just see how the uh, he's doing. Oh, he's on his headland now. He's not quite going to have enough to finish off. We'll record for about another 10 minutes, then I'll call this one an episode. He's done. Right, let's just...
to hop in. Hop in again. Oh, I should really just put the uh, be uh, beacons on. I bet when it rains there'll be floods. <laughs> Not be too worried if I don't fill the spread up with this one. Let's see how much we go of it before it uh, you can see it the heap disappearing back. That's it, 99% full, almost done it. Yeah, so I um, <laughs> look like I need to buy a new... A what? I don't need to. Not after all the work was done in the class, but I'd like a new combine body. And I think a bigger tractor won't be a bad thing. up here because I want whoa whoa how much weight have we got on the front of this oh, I'm seeing weight on the front just took the corner a bit too quick another hedge destroyed find how far we got. But the, uh, I think we're just on the headland, on the fir first headland, so uh, Ah, it's over this side. Another look so Yeah, that's done. It's a good job we've got no crops in there. Ah, here. Here we are. This is as far as we got. Now, let's hope we can hit the... Uh, Probably well, no, we're hit up first time. <laughs> Looks like he's on the headlands now. And you can see the moisture in this thirteen percent, eleven percent, ten. But of course this is seven so we can actually as I'm not gonna change it to organic this year I can actually put some liquid fertilizer in which I may well do. I need to get the moisture in so I won't muck this one. I'm gonna plant the seeds in then spray with liquid fertilizer to get the moisture levels up a bit. Then herbicide. I don't know if remember which herbicides are which. So there's B on this. There we go. Okay. Depends which one finishes first. This is rather a nice little one. Uh, Cover. I think it was um, mod host, or I'm not certain that was on. 
I know that David Oldfield highlighted this. Normally he highlights stuff and it can't be too bad. I think he's done a little bit of work on his, but not a lot. But then David Oldfield is a born fiddler with mods. But you also know what he's doing, which I don't. Ah, the case pyramid has finished. So we take him. I don't know, he's about to be refilled. Uh, great. Well, he has finished, look at that, he's right on the stop line. So I'm not... I'm not going to bother refill this again. So when... Now, did I say that calls? Yeah. Tidy those up and all. I think I'll go and drop this off. Uh, right back on at, at the store at the muck store Is this one oh nice don't go in there so get the JCB up for the next food just so it's a bit easier to Fill them. But then again, I need to do some manual work on here. Uh, just drop this in here. Turn the belt off. Now I will be putting muck on the. Uh, uh, fields to, as a cover, as a moisture cover. I just take him round to the end. He's on his last pass now. I do tend to miss a lot, but uh, you may wonder why I changed the 6 metre one for this one. It's only about 4.8 metre. I think I'm running about 4.5 metre or even 4 metre. It's mainly because it, it looks better. And it's a direct mount instead of being a trialled one, which means it follows the tractor a little bit better. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave what's left and I'm not gonna go and tidy this up. What I'll do is I'll finish this pass round and then call it quits. As BP always says, we don't seem to have got a lot done, but the work is progressing slowly. I will turn that uh, muck in on off screen. And next time you're here, will be this later the same day, and we will be uh, seeding. Right, so it's. Um, thank you very much for watching, subscribing, liking. And it's a cheerio for now.